and Marmalade are totally normal cats who do totally normal cat things. They play together, take naps together, defend their house against alien robots together. Wait, what? Cole's like, quick, Marmalade, you have to go and warn the mayor. Any day now would be nice. And check out their super awesome hideout. To the cat cave! It looks like Marmalade and Cole are anything but normal cats. They're more like superheroes. And best animal friends. When Cole first met Marmalade, he knew right away that the little kitten had what it took to join his superhero team. Marmalade was curious, brave, great at hiding, and most importantly, good at making humans think he was just a normal, cute little kitten. The perfect secret identity for any superhero cat. Cole was like, stick with me, kid. I'll teach you everything I know. Cole entered superhero life early on when he scared away the masked mayhem of Pet City. And defended his home against the lizard attack of 2012. Stay away, lizard monster. Cole always wanted a partner by his side. And so, the superhero training began. Rapid reflex training. Strength training. Surprise attack training. Crazy weasel on a ball training. Box training. And even see in the dark training. Day by day, Cole watched as Marmalade grew bigger and stronger. He was so proud. Now, there's no mission too big or villain too mean for Cole and Marmalade to handle. They were ready to take on anything. Like swarms of balls, sassy squirrels, annoying ribbons, money-stealing robo-cats, Hungry sharks, giant teddy bears, evil toilet paper, mischievous mice, virtual mice, and even bubbles. Okay, come on, that just looks fun. Marmalade had not only become Cole's superhero partner, but also his friend. That's why Cole and Marmalade always make sure to take a break to hang out and do normal best friend cat stuff. And of course, they hang out with their best human friend too. He's awesome at making them cool box forts. And he always gives Cole and Marmalade plenty of things to play with. They love him a lot. Cole and Marmalade are some of the best cat superheroes in the world. But most importantly, they're also best animal friends. That's a pretty cat. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> should I let him free or should I take him with me? That's a good question. A few minutes ago, 
A rescuer found him with his head stuck in a can. Poor cat, he's just scared. His head stuck in there probably because he was looking for food in that can. Fish, it could have been a can of fish. So he took him back to his car to get him out of trouble. He couldn't get it off himself because he has fur and stuff on his paws, so it'd just be sliding. He's free! But he was confused because he wasn't in the wild anymore, he was in someone's car. That's why he was like... So... She wants to go out. I don't know, I'm confused. You do have to be careful around wild animals because you never know when they're gonna snap. Hey, have you seen that? I hope that cat isn't too angry. He's feeling scared. Cats hiss when they're afraid. Should I let him free or should I take him with me? I think he's gonna let the cat decide what he wants to do. Oh. Yep, run along. You change your mind, you want to stay? What are you gonna do? Nice and warm inside or freedom? Uh, why isn't that cat going back to the wild? I will count to ten. If you will not go outside, I will take you with me. One, two, three, four. I think the cat wants to stay. Five. He's like, are you nuts? I'm not going back there. Eight. I'm fighting right here. Nine. 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 Ten. We are not going nowhere. I will take you with me. Originally the cat wanted to go. Now the cat wants to stay. They're like, oh, I want to do this. Nope, just kidding. I want to do this. So my friends, I took the cat at the vet. That's why he's shaking a little bit now. I think he knows the man is trying to help him. And he actually is able to pet him. Nah. You don't need to bite me. Hey, that's great. Hey. Oh, bless you. Treats are a good way to make any animal like you. Probably every person, too, if you think about it. Now, let's try to pet him without food. Oh, he showed me his teeth. Sometimes it takes a while to get an animal to trust you. But soon, he likes him. Good boy. He really likes him. Oh. The cat doesn't want the rescuer to stop petting him. Little more, little more, little more. He just is getting lots of love. Hey, look the wild boy. He's so different now. He's so calm. He loves it. From a wild cat who had a can on his head to the sweetest friend. All because of a patient, friendly, and heroic animal rescuer. Wendy might be the tiniest kitten in the whole world. At least she looks that way next to her favorite dog, George. She's about the size of one of his paws. But she's not scared. She loves sleeping on her favorite big furry dog, who makes her feel safe. 
and George. He loves being her pillow. When Wendy was a baby kitten, a very special person spotted her. And Wendy walked right up to say hi. Hello, who are you? Okay, well, you're coming home with us. Wendy's new mom brought her home to George. Wendy's like, is that a dog or a tractor? Her mom was worried she'd be afraid. But she went right up to him. At first, George wasn't really sure what to make of her. Who's this tiny little thing? But when Wendy stuck her head into his fur, that was it. George loved Wendy after that. Before Wendy arrived, George was feeling a little down. His mom wasn't exactly sure why. There were other animals in the house, and George liked them. But something was the matter. I guess he had a kitten-sized hole in his heart. Because when Wendy showed up and started cuddling, and meowing every time she saw him, and sleeping under his face. George got so happy. It was like he'd been waiting his whole life for Wendy. He wanted to be her best friend forever. They probably like each other because they're so different. Wendy has a huge personality. She always messes with his tail, even when he's asleep. And George is a gentle giant. Wendy will drag her tail all over his face, but he just sits there and looks at her. Wendy and George don't notice that they're different sizes. All they know is that happiness is a tiny kitten under your paw and a tail wrapped around your head. That's how you can tell your best animal friends. the cat after he moved into his new house. He decided to become this cat's rescuer. He started to leave food outside for the cat. So actually, I remember leaving out a can of tuna because it looked hungry. My dog's name is Luna, and that rhymes with tuna. The cat was super grateful. But when he would see a person on the other side of the window, he would freak out and run away. He just didn't trust people. But Lex didn't mind. He would leave food every day. The guy was like, okay, if you don't like me, that doesn't mean I can't like you. And eventually, the cat got a little less scared of him. Soon the cat would even let Lex open the screen door and he wouldn't run away. But he wouldn't come into the house either. So Lex decided if the cat didn't want to come inside, he would build a house outside just for the cat. He filled it with soft blankets to keep the cat warm. 
He wasn't sure if the cat would like the house. But he didn't have to wait long to find out. The cat loved the little house. Taking a nice long cat now. Then the best thing happened. One day, the cat came right up to the doorway. He meowed at Lex, asking for a treat. And when Lex reached out, he took it right from Lex's hand. Lex threw him another treat. And sure enough, And just like that, this cat became a part of Lex's family. He made himself right at home. And Lex gave him a name, Cinnabon. Oh, I knew you were gonna be there. It's your favorite spot, isn't it? The cat still loves being outside. But Cinnabon always comes home because he knows that Lex loves him and because he loves Lex too. I can't believe that's even the same cat from the beginning. From being stray to becoming someone's cat. This is the happiest family of cats. Big sister Nellie, brother Gilbert, and Nala, the little kitten. They really, really like each other. But it wasn't always that way. Nellie used to hate Nala. But now everybody squeezes into the same sink together. Just like you'd expect from best animal friends. It all started one day when Gilbert was out taking a walk. Most of the time, Gilbert tra -la las happily next to his dad. But on this particular day, Gilbert saw a little lost kitten in the bushes. Gilbert wouldn't move. He had to be sure the little kitten was all right. They waited and waited, but the kitten's mom never showed up. So Gilbert had to put his paw down. There was no way he was leaving this little kitten behind. They had to take her home. So that's what they did. Gilbert and his dad decided to call the sweet little kitten Nala. And soon, they found out Nala loved getting her chin rubbed. Gilbert was the best big brother. He made Nala feel right at home. It was almost perfect, except Nellie. Big sister Nellie wasn't at all sure about the new kitten. Poor Nala, she just wanted to be part of the family. But Nellie was a tough cat, and not the kind to make new friends fast. Maybe she wasn't the kind to make new friends at all. Nellie was like, why is this strange kitten in my house? She just stared and stared at little Nala. What are you looking at? Can't you just like me? Luckily, Gilbert was there to show his new sister how much their family loved her. Nala started to follow Gilbert everywhere. At dinner time, it was Nala and Gilbert and someone always watching. And watching. But what Nellie didn't know about Nala was that she loves to play and never gives up. Nala was going to be friends with Nellie somehow. She just knew it. And then one day, it finally happened. Nala was batting around her favorite toy and Nellie looked like she actually wanted to play. Nala couldn't believe it. And after a few sniffs, Nellie was like, yeah, okay, I like you. Now, they totally love each other. And Gilbert's like, 
I knew this would work. We cats are made for each other. These days, Nellie, Gilbert, and little Nala do everything together. They are three peas in a, hmm, that's not a pod, still a sink. They're so grateful to have found each other, so happy to be a family, and best animal friends. Baby Starlight's feeling hurt. She was found all alone outside. She has a bad sunburn, and her little body aches. Time to make her all better. First, we give her a gentle hug, so she knows we're here to help. It's going to be okay, Starlight. Starlight needs a cool bath, lots of milk, time to rest and heal, and lots and lots and lots of love. So we give her a little kitty bath and her friend too. Get her all dried off and put her under a cozy blanket, feeling a little better. We really want to help you, Starlight. You need lots of milk to make you strong. Drink up. Feeling full? You're so cute, baby Starlight. But your tummy still looks a little red. What next? We're gonna brush your head with a toothbrush now because it feels like a mama cat's tongue. Now some blankets and a soft cuddle with your friends because you need time to rest and heal. Good night, Starlight. looking stronger today. But you're not all better yet. You need more food. And cool water. And blankets. And love. Lots of love. And rest. getting stronger every day. You're almost better, but you need a little more help. Your friend is coming to say hi. He wants you to feel better too. So have more food and brushes and blankets. Take some time to play. And lots of time to rest. Now you're looking healthy. Your tummy doesn't look red at all. And you're strong enough to play all day. Looking better every day. How did you get so big? We love you, Starlight. So glad you're feeling all better. Um, is that cat giving a pig a massage? Sassy's like, this feels 
so good. Uh oh, pig down. I guess you could say somebody has a way with these pigs. And you know what? They love him right back. This cat and these pigs are best animal friends. Ernest lives on a farm, and there's nothing this farm cat likes more than pigs. If Ernest had his way, he'd be a pig. But it's hard to be a pig when you can only meow, not oink. So Ernest does the next best thing. He hangs out with them. Well, it's more like he hangs out on them. Who needs a chair when you have a pig like Sassy to ride? Or a pig like Mona? And since he loves his pigs so much, he spends a lot of time taking care of them. It's a very big job taking care of so many pigs. It starts with breakfast every morning. Ernest makes sure they all have the energy they need for the day's adventures. And what do they need after all that running around? Naps. Boy, do these pigs love to snooze. And they sleep best when they know Ernest is right there taking care of them. Am I dreaming or is Ernest giving me a hug? Hmm, is that Ernest licking my ear? Tulip needs some ear licks too. Because that's how Ernest shows his love. And it turns out pigs like to be licked, awake or asleep. And it just so happens that Ernest is the best massager on the farm. He gives neck rubs, and shoulder rubs, and back rubs. No wonder these pigs nap so much. They're so relaxed. All because of Ernest. Ernest is so good at taking care of the pigs that sometimes the other animals are like, what's a sheep got to do to get a neck rub around here? But Ernest is always willing to take care of the other animals too, because that's just the kind of cat he is. Whether it's a fuzzy alpaca, or a friendly cow, or even a donkey who needs a kiss. Ernest is always there for all his friends and he wouldn't have it any other way. But when he's finished hanging with the donkeys and cows and alpacas and sheep, you know right where Ernest goes. Back to the pigs. For Ernest, there's no better place in the world than on the backs of his favorite pigs. That's where he feels most at home their best animal friends, and they always will be. Dodo Kids! Help the kittens find the subscribe button.